the Quicksilver Storm, it's no secret it's one of the best exotic primaries in the game right now, with its high base damage and its grenade alternate fire, which deals more damage than most special weapons. But what if I told you there's an easy way to increase its base damage, even up to 50% more in the right circumstances? And all you really have to do is just pull a new one from collections. But why is this a thing? Well, I imagine most people would have equipped their Quicksilver Storm with its catalyst, changing over its damage type from kinetic to strand. But kinetic weapons have an inbuilt effect of dealing 10% more damage to non shielded enemies. This bumps up Quicksilver's bullet damage across the board against miners, mages, and bosses. The grenade damage will remain the same though, but there is a way to also increase this for only the kinetic version, which I will go into later. There's even more interactions which change though depending on the weapon damage type. The main one I want to bring to attention is the active surges found in endgame content. These bring up damage of weapons which match them by 25%, but kinetics do work a little differently. They will receive the damage boost by default so long as your subclass matches the active surges. So for example, if it's Arc and Void Surge and you run a say a Arc Hunter, your kinetic quicksilver would be 25% more effective, while a strand one would not receive this boost. For this season, anti-barrier auto rifle is also available, which also immediately grants surge benefits when equipped, but going forwards, this will not always be an option. Another neat interaction is with the perk disruption break. In this example, I have a greasy look glaive with disruption break, and when I pop an enemy's shield with it, they take 50% more kinetic damage for 5.5 seconds. This applies to the kinetic quicksilver's grenade too, but does not benefit the strand version. While this might seem a little niche, there's a very popular anti-barrier weapon Arbalest, which has Disruption Break as an inbuilt perk. So while running GMs or any other endgame content, if your teammate pierces a barrier champion with Arbalest, you can quickly dump 3 grenades into the target at 50% extra damage, and these grenades are already very effective at chunking down champions. There are some further considerations to be made on choosing which Quicksilver to use however, the Kinetic one will obviously benefit from Kinetic Armor mods and Surge mods rather than Strand. So if you are doubling down on Strand weapons, it might be worth taking the Strand version of Quicksilver anyway, as the mod benefits will cover the damage deficit. And if you are running a Strand subclass, you can benefit more from the tangles grenade kills can generate. If you have build options which enable unraveling rounds, this is another bonus. But I'd say outside of playing a Strand subclass, a lot of the time the Kinetic version of Quicksilver could be the stronger choice, especially in upcoming seasons where it will make it much easier to match the active surges. Thank you for watching.